All right, y'all, there's a couple things that I want to show y'all. I was pressing some shirts up today. You see that 13 by 9, humongous cover in the whole shirt. Um, anyway. All right, let me show you. Woo! Woo! All right, anyway. What I want to show you here, though, is to make sure... You see these crystals? See? Make sure that you don't have these. These can get on your shirt and oh you see how that peeled up a little bit and you got to be careful with these things but make sure you cure these things all the way and you get all the excess um sometimes you can be lazy and not get all of that excess powder off and sometimes it's hard to get all the powder off just be mindful of that because uh it can show up on the shirt now i want to show you this right here all right you see that and you know it kind of ruin the uh, transfer and I'm still using this transfer but I'm gonna show you why this actually happens especially if you stretch um, and you use the whole 13 inches I think it's a little more crystals uh, and you use the whole 13 uh, by 19 sheet and you try to fill it up all the way across now what happens here we're looking inside of the printer now we're back inside of the printer. And that's why I like uh, this particular model because it's just easy. Like I say with the shell, it's kind of easy to get to. Now, what how, the, the way they convert these printers are they're taking uh, pretty much some needle nose pliers. And here, see this, see this, that, 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 um, this wheel here, it has little, little prongs on it. I don't know if I can get in there and show you but it has little prongs on it, right? They pull out, it's, it's about seven, eight more of these things that, that, are, in, in, that are in these uh, braces here. And they pull those wheels out, right? And they pull them out on the other side also. Now these guide the paper also, so you can't pull all of them out. You have to leave uh, some. So really when you're doing the 13 by 19 sheets, really if you come over here, this could get onto your um onto your image when it's rolling over and this is what happened there and this is i think this is why we have the heat strip i know we was wondering what the heat strip is for i think to try to help it heat up a little bit more so that um to dry it just a tad so when it does come across this wheel it's not getting ink on it so you don't see a lot of ink there on top of that but uh you look at this other wheel let me see if i can show you Look at the other wheel here. I don't have any lights. But you see there's ink on that. You know what I'm saying? We've had some issues. And there are another set of rollers. Um, you know what I'm saying? A little farther under that I probably can't show you. Um, yeah, you see that other one there? You see the other two there? Um, so, but usually, you know, by the time you get to the second roll, this is kind of dry enough where it doesn't really roll over. But it can be uh, problematic, um, those these particular rollers. So, sometimes when you see people printing images, they will only print. When you see the vendors who are selling the machines, they would just print maybe a little small image in the middle. You know what I'm saying? To try to make sure that that doesn't happen. But... The reason that's happening, the reason uh, if you get something like that, it's that wheel uh, that's rolling. And sometimes it can be dragging, it can be clogged up uh, with ink maybe. You know what I'm saying? You had a bad situation with the ink. I'm going to give you this. Some of these papers aren't um, two sheets. I know the company that I got my trans, my uh, pet film from. Uh, see, this say, see, I say face up. This is not double sheet. This is not, you know, any double sided. It's a powder that's on this, on these. You see that? See how you can see my fingerprint right there. There's a powder on these films. Um, on this particular films, um, that you don't, you don't, you don't do both. If you run it on the other side that it doesn't have the powder on, then what will end up happening is the ink will just run down the sheet. You know what I'm saying? And I did that a couple times. I dropped. My sheets fell and, I, and that I picked them up and put them on the wrong side. And I was just running film after film after film. 
trying to figure out why is this thing got this ink just running like this? Why is it just running down the page? Um, and so I had to clean that mess up. So uh, be mindful of that. If you do have where ink is running down the page, you probably got the sheet on the wrong side. Um, hope that was beneficial. Make sure you like, subscribe, um, and, and stay tuned for the next vid. I'm going to tell you something too. Let me give you this jewel. S soft deco metallics from heat transfer. Soft deco metallics. Um, they got the best. That that's it's soft. It's easy to work with. Easy to easy weed. Um, it's just it's a cold peel. But I take all of that. But it's being you know what I'm saying give it like this gold look. Now I, I kind of overcooked this. You know what I'm saying I kind of overcooked it. Uh, so because I wanted to look like gold like. Like gold, like 14 karat gold, like flake, uh, look textured, uh, look. Now you can, if you do it at the right temperature, maybe about 250, and um, you don't press it that long, maybe 10 seconds on 250, it'll still give you that gold, uh, metallic reflective look. All right, but if you you overcook it, it'll give you that gold where it kind of looks like, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, like some, you you see it, you see it. 